It's old, it's rickety, and it goes uphill and downhill. I'm John Bartell. Make a little pit stop here in Los Angeles at Angel's Flight. Well, you may recognize it from the summer love scene in the romantic musical La La Land. Or you may have seen it on Amazon's hit detective drama, Bosch. Man ruined a lot of careers. This is Angel's Flight, the world's shortest railway. Now we're 298 feet, so we are the shortest railway in the world. <laughs> Built in 1901 by Civil War engineer J.W. Eddy, Angel's Flight is a people mover, transporting passengers in the Bunker Hill area up and down Olive and Hill Street. And according to Angel's Flight Railway Foundation founder John Wilborn, the railway was in great demand because back then the city looked much different. Residential neighborhood here, commercial neighborhood at the bottom. To save room, the rail cars run on three tracks instead of four and was engineered using a centuries old technology called a funicular railway. It has two counterbalance cars connected to the same cable. So when one goes down, the other goes up. Oh, and by the way, those two cars, they actually have names. Olivet and the car that's on the north side is called Sinai. Angel's Flight became a much-loved icon and ran from 1901 to 1969. That's when the city dismantled the railway to redesign Bunker Hill, but they promised locals that they would rebuild the track in just a few years. A few years for me might be three or four, and it took the city 27 years. Thanks to John and the Angel's Flight Railway Foundation, the tracks were reinstalled and opened up again in 1996. And today, they move around 2,000 passengers a day up and down the narrow tracks. We're only about four inches apart. It may be squeaky, shaky, and slow, but it's all part of the rail car's historic charm, and it sure beats walking. Aboard Angel's Flight in Los Angeles, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.